G'day Scrappers, welcome to Board Sort Australia, a, a new venture of mine and as uh, some of you may be aware I, I buy circuit boards from other scrappers, um, I have been for uh, a few years now and so I thought I'd make it official and start the business of Board Sort here in Australia and for now I'm basically based in Melbourne so but I'm willing to um, do business with anyone in Australia at the moment hopefully one day we might even expand to uh, Sydney and uh, Queensland never know but for now all you scrappers in Melbourne that are looking to sell your circuit boards or you might be a computer repair guy or a, an electronics um, enthusiast that accumulate a lot of circuit boards and um, one way to get some value out of them is to sell them to me and what I do is basically a lot of this stuff is uh, goes to my own personal uh, precious metal recovery or picking components off and so on so I just wanted to kick off the business with a, uh, a brief introduction and over the next few weeks I plan on doing a little bit more involved videos on the stuff that I'm buying and how I like to have it brought to me and uh, prepared but basically it's a uh, your standard pretty much any any kind of circuit boards uh, whether they be computer motherboards, laptop motherboards, server boards, um, mid-grade boards. Mid-grade is basically all the other green boards that uh, don't fall into categories like motherboards or very high-end. So anything from your televisions and VCRs, DVD players, all that kind of stuff that's all even modems uh, riser cards and so on that's all mid-grade boards and obviously we've got power boards that I buy as well now my prices there'll be a link to my prices uh, down the bottom in the comment section so if you just scroll down the first comment you'll see there'll be a link there to my current web page where I've got all the prices for different circuit boards that I buy as well as uh, different gold recovery commodities like IC chips um, I buy individual IC chips and other gold recovery bits gold fingers, gold pins, RAM, uh, CPUs, all that kind of stuff but uh, it, probably in a, in a few weeks time there will be a dedicated website where I'll, I'll update this video and um, let you know the new website uh, which will be boardsort.com.au but I just haven't built it yet and um, so yeah so that's it if uh, you uh, scrap e-waste electronics and you're looking for somewhere to sell your e-waste boards um, I'm the place to, to come to here in Melbourne anyway you've got power supply units uh, hard drives and uh, pretty much anything uh, you'll see my price list it's got uh, quite an extensive list of things that I buy and I uh, just wanted to mention that uh, my prices uh, are based on complete uh, boards so for instance a motherboard is basically like that it's got everything it's got the main chips and that uh, once you start depopulating things like removing uh, IC chips and BGA's it's a totally different ball game and so you need to let me know if you've started depopulating even partially just picking off some items uh, you just got to be careful that uh, if you pick off too many things you're going to devalue your boards and you're not going to get your top price so here's actually a good example of uh, just a, a few boards that came in um, just the other day now this is pretty much a server board now 
I didn't pay server board for this because if you can see here there's a missing BGA and another one here they're the two main chips now once you remove these two main chips this is now a mid-grade board so uh, they do weigh quite a lot so they they've only gotten a third of the price and in in a lot of cases it's probably not worth doing so um, because yeah they've uh, just they've only removed two main chips here but it's downgraded it right down to a mid-grade board you know there's another one identical okay they're all pretty much the same again a server board they removed the two main chips uh, because there were other chips still left on there I gave them mid-grade once you've removed even more chips as well as the the main ones you're almost you're going down to low grade and in some cases I, I don't even buy them because uh, uh, it's a it's a totally different thing so if you're depopulating boards uh, you need to um, really consider whether it's worth your while if you do that that's fine no problem but you might as well then just uh, remove everything for gold recovery and all that and just leave it at that rather than bringing it to me and trying to sell it uh, I do get guys with uh, bringing me motherboards and yeah they'll, they'll remove the main BGA's from the motherboard and uh, yeah it definitely brings it down to mid-grade if not it'll probably even uh, in some cases it can even bring it down to low grade so just be careful with that uh, I prefer to buy my boards complete I try and pay the best price I can uh, to in order to get the boards as they came out of the electronics that you got uh, with uh, low grade boards some people choose not to sell them because low grade boards are reasonably low value obviously so some people you know prefer to just remove the aluminium the copper spools the transformers and all that and and even some ic chips and so on and sell them all to the scrapyard um, rather than sell bringing them to me because it does take a lot of um, low grade boards to um, to get some decent value um, so you know that's from a, obviously from a CRT television and as you can see it's uh, it's it's a complete intact board that's just a low-grade board you'll see my prices pretty much anything uh, that's on a brown board or it could even be green on one side uh, will be a low-grade board even these uh, little power boards all low-grade Just to give you an example, uh, little tactile switches, it's all low grade stuff. Uh, so, but um, you know, some people what they'll try and get away with is they'll try and remove the copper and the transformers and so on and still sell it as low grade. Sometimes you can get away with it, but usually once you start removing the main components, then you're almost turning it into a, a no grade board. Uh, you know, here's an example that's virtually, virtually no value, but it still goes as a low-grade board. Um, there is one transformer on it, um, but uh, yeah. So, I just wanted to, um, yeah, just start off the year with uh, just an introduction to board sort in Australia. Now, I know that there's a board sort in America, and I kind of use that name because it's a, uh, it's, uh, it's a. I've been sort of promoting board saw in America for quite some time, so I thought, well, um, I might as well, um, since it's a well-known name, I might as well uh, stick with it and um, have an Australian version. And so, um, um, yeah, who knows how, how it's going to turn out. So if, you know, you're a scrapper and you're uh, looking at um, selling your stuff and want to support a small guy um, in... Uh, in business well bring your boards over to me and I'll try and um, give you a personalized service uh, even a, make you a cup of coffee if you like and uh, laptop boards and all that kind of stuff um, I'll be a lot more organized as the year goes along um, yeah and but my prices are based on delivery to me 
I don't go and pick up circuit boards to buy um, unless it's a very um, special circumstance. So if you're a business and you don't have time to uh, bring the circuit boards and it's all sorted out properly, you know, I might be able to arrange something. But uh, yeah, generally it's all, all the boards need to be delivered to me, to my workshop in order to get the top price. And uh, yeah, so get out there guys and uh, start scrapping some more stuff and uh, bring me your circuit boards and I'm happy to pay you top dollar and uh, I generally pay cash uh, unless it's a reasonably high amount say over over five hundred dollars I prefer to uh, deposit uh, into your PayPal account or straight into your bank account or something like that because I don't like to keep cash um, too much cash on board uh, the only requirement you're going to need is a form of identification like a license just so I've got a bit of backup uh, in case uh, anything happens and I need to know where certain stuff come from um, so yeah that's all that's required it's uh, it's no big thing if if you do have an ABN um, I can use your ABN and that'll make it nice and easy but if you don't have an ABN number, um, just a current license will do. All right, guys. Well, keep scrapping. Get out there and um, accumulate your uh, circuit boards and bring them all to me. There'll be other videos that will show um, more of the things that I buy. Like I said, the CPUs, RAM, uh, slot cards, any, any circuit boards I buy and things like gold recovery stuff, gold pins, gold fingers, IC chips, tantalum capacitors, even MLCCs. Uh, I pretty much buy the lot and a, a lot of places don't buy that kind of stuff. So for instance, if you're picking off MLCCs and you're some people prefer to completely depopulate boards and then they're accumulating MLCCs, crystals, crystal oscillators, IC chips, flat packs, BGAs, all that kind of stuff. Well, I'm the place to, to sell that as well. And um, my prices are, are reasonably fair and I'm trying to um, in, increase those prices more and more because uh, a lot of this stuff is no longer going to be on sold. I'm going to be actually depopulating a lot of it. So um, I can probably pay a little bit more than just uh, a regular buyer that would um, just um, act as a middleman and send it to another buyer. So um, yeah, so that's where it, uh, it's important when you, you go to depopulate boards, uh, let me know because uh, once I start going through your boards, uh, if I've got to, if I start noticing depopulated boards, then I've got to go through all your boards. And um, that's very time consuming. It's going to reduce the value of what you bring me by at least 10 percent because that's just time consuming going through a whole lot of stuff and uh, so if, if there's anything that you uh, don't see on my list and you're wondering whether I buy them you know like you can see power supply units here I don't buy DVD drives or floppy drives anymore uh, there's just no value in them anymore you're better off scrapping them out completely all right guys I won't let this video go on too long um, I just thought I'd uh, kick off board sort in Australia. We're just starting off, so over the next few weeks and, and through the course of the year, uh, we should ha have a, a bit more idea on, on uh, what I'm doing. Uh, but I do have, you know, quite a few years' experience in buying circuit boards, so it's business as usual to all my regular customers, and uh, hope to see some new people. Uh, especially uh, guys that are into electronics and they just accumulate stuff. Uh, give me a yell and I, I can buy it all off you, no problem. Just bring it down and um, fill your pockets up with a bit of cash. All right, guys. Well, look out for the next video on this subject. Keep scrapping, have fun. Catch you next time.